Welcome to this video on the Tableau Certified Data Analyst exam. We're going to talk about scheduling data extract refreshes. And so in particular, what we're going to cover is setting up a schedule on the server, enabling scheduled extract refreshes and failure emails, and monitoring refresh performance. If I'm going at the wrong speed, just speed up or slow down the video as needed. Here is the documentation on refreshing extracts. This is a quick start and it kind of goes through all the key topics. And we're going to be covering a few of those now. And so I'm going to switch over here to Tableau and create a connection to a Postgres database that's running on my local computer. And so I'm just going to click on that and bring in the staff data here and create a new worksheet here. And then I've already signed into my Tableau cloud server. I'm just gonna then do an extract and publish the data source. So I'm gonna do extract first, uh, click on that, save settings, and then I'm going to say save and go over to um, here server, publish data source, publish this extract now, and I'll do refresh not enabled, I can actually change that. And so here, can I do allow refresh access? Yes. And then I'm going to do publish. And so I'm publishing this data source to Tableau Cloud. And now as soon as I publish it, it gives me the option to schedule extract refresh. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it from here. And I can set it to whatever schedule I want weekly, maybe on Thursdays at 7.50. And so I'll click Create. And then if I go over to here, I can see this is my schedule. And with this, I have a few different options. I can run it right away. I can do Run Now. I can change the frequency. That's going to bring up the same menu I had up before. Or I can delete it. So if I say Run Now, then it'll attempt to connect to the database and refresh the data. Right, so that, that is the extract scheduling page. And so you can adjust the schedule, change the schedule, delete uh, using that menu. The next thing I wanna point out is that if we go over to site status, or actually to settings, we can look at the email. So if I do extract here somewhere in this page, we see these options, right? So it says, turn on extract refresh monitoring. And so if one of these fails, I will get an email. And in fact, this has happened to me. So if I go over to my email here, I can show you an example of what these failures look like. Drag this over, and so this is the error message that I get when my extract fails. It gives me an email like this. Um, so that is an example of an extract failure email. And so since that's checked, I'm gonna get these. So that's the next thing to point out. Uh, now I also wanna show that if I go over to jobs, right, I can see what I've run. And because my Tableau bridge isn't configured, this is failing again, right? So it gave me a failure message uh, like this because I haven't done the configuration necessary to make this connection work. So that's one thing. The other thing is if you go over to site status, this is the last point I wanna make, you can see uh, actually a Tableau view of what's happened with your extracts and other tasks. So if I click all, it's gonna create this visualization and I can see when this thing was kicked off and when it failed, right? So th this is a bunch of information about these tasks. These are the blue ones are, I guess, ones that succeeded and these are my extract tasks which have failed. So that's the last thing I wanted to point out on scheduling extracts. 